Hi, I'm Danner. I'm a computer engineering student from Huntsville, Alabama. When I was a kid, my family built this shed in the hills of southern Tennessee. It sat dormant for nearly 20 years and began to deteriorate. I'm currently on a mission to restore the shed and convert it into an amazing tiny house. With the help of my dad, I'm learning the basics of construction, restoring the land, and documenting our story. This is Abandoned Shed to Tiny House. Welcome back everyone. It is summer now and it's been pretty hot. I'm out of school for the semester and we're ready to have a productive summer. Um, we actually already started doing a few things. We got a garden going for the year. We've been using our solar power. We upgraded our solar to our SOK lithium batteries. Now we have our fridge running on solar power, security system, everything in there just going all the time. So that's really awesome. And today we wanna to do our last big framing project, which is that blue T111 up there. We're gonna be tearing that down and reframing it just to do a different spacing on the windows. And then after we have that fresh sheathing, we'll be able to finally do some house wrap. We've actually been putting that off for a while just because we wanted to do this last little part uh, now. It's, it still looks like it, it's fine. It hasn't swollen up too much, but we definitely do want to get that done as soon as possible. And then we'll just have some more fun projects to do. So we've also been working on grabbing some trees around the property that have fallen, pull them up here so that eventually when we get a sawmill, we'll be able to start slicing that up and using it for the project. And the other day we also cut down two giant tulip poplar trees. Tulip poplar is Tennessee state tree, and we're actually gonna be using that for the siding of the shed. Um, we've heard that's good for rot resistance, and they actually used to use that on old barns. So we're gonna be doing that, some board and batten, and it should be really cool. But I've got my tool belt on, shout out to Allie for that. And I'm looking like a real framer now. So let's just go ahead, get our tools out, and do some real framing. Let's do it. So we made it upstairs and in the end, this is gonna end up being a bedroom and we'll have maybe a, a fold out bed right here, bed over there, and then a big desk over here on the front wall. We'll also have a closet on this side and then just a chase for this chimney. The reframing we're gonna be doing is just moving those two windows in and they're also gonna be 36 by 36 instead of um, whatever these are. It should be pretty cool, just a big desk right here, and then you just get to look out and see this amazing view we have in the front. So yeah, I say we just go ahead, start taking out these windows, pull out all of this old stuff, and then just frame it right up. So let's just go ahead and get started. <music>
All right, so we got our front wall completely knocked out now. Definitely looks really weird, but I'm just happy that this thing didn't collapse when we took it out. <laughs> it actually wasn't even that bad. I'd say the hardest part was the windows, just getting the staples out of there, but then Dad ended up just knocking it out. Uh, the T111 came off really easily. So now we just have to start cutting up some wood, and we did have some angles that we had to figure out for around here, and it turns out that they were actually written on the piece of wood from when they originally framed the shed. So it's just 22 and a half everywhere, and then we'll just pretty much frame this exactly like we did downstairs. So uh, the sun is starting to come down, so we need to go ahead and get to work and start cutting some wood. Alright, so it is the next day now. Last night uh, ended up getting pretty dark on us and we were trying to just finish it all last night but then we started moving fast and working a little sloppily so we just uh, decided to call it for the night and it ended up being a good thing because in the morning we realized that our where we had our windows set and our drawing was actually a little bit too high. We do plan on having a desk right here and we want to be able to see out the window when we're sitting at the desk. So I went around and started measuring every desk we had and we figured out that the height of the desk we want is going to be 30 inches. And so this saw, hold, this saw stand ended up being exactly 30 inches so we just set it up, kind of mocked up what it would look like looking out our windows and now we have a new height for where we want to put our windows. So we're going to be doing a 30 inch desk with 36 inch windows and we just kind of walked around the room, checked it out and we think it looks really good and actually now with these bays of hail out in our field. Bays of hail. <laughs> <laughs> and now with these bales of hay out in our field, I was actually kind of saying it kind of looks like a uh, default desktop background. Uh, just like some, I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. So we're happy with how we have our window set now. And now we just have to finish it off and then finish off framing for the rest of the wall. And we're also kind of looking at the back wall. We've been debating doing that back, back wall for a little bit. And we kind of wanted to judge how this wall went first. And it was actually really easy to knock out the T111 since we weren't trying to save it for anything. So. We think it would be po uh, pretty easy if we wanted to go ahead and do that. We'll see what happens with that, but for now, let's just go ahead and finish framing this wall.
All right, so we have put up three pieces so far, and now we're just working on the last big one. And we've just been using these pieces that we pulled off to do a template for this piece. So now we're just doing a little jigsawing. All right, so we are completely done with our front sheathing now. It definitely looks a little weird, and I'm kind of sad to see our old bluish green patina go, but it's for the better. And it ended up going really smoothly. We definitely don't want to mess up our cuts on any of those pieces of OSB, because those were close to $50 when we got them, which is really crazy. So luckily everything went fine. And also I think we're just getting better at framing in general. I felt like I was a little more accurate with the framing nailer this time. And yeah, overall it was just a lot easier than I thought. And so I'm feeling a lot more confident about being able to do that on the backside. So we're probably gonna do that here really soon. And we also have to go ahead, wrap it in the house wrap just so everything is protected from the weather. But after we do that, we'll be able to start moving the inside. We'll be able to start getting our electrical done. And then we also were thinking about finishing out our kitchen and our bathroom first so that we can kind of live in the house a little bit while we're working on it. So we think that's kind of the plan of how we're gonna be doing things. Yeah, overall, I'm just happy with how it's turned out so far. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on moving forward with the house and then also around the land, it is summer now, so everything's just growing up. So we wanna make sure we're also maintaining everything at the same time. Um, we got that tree down, so we're gonna have to keep clearing up some of that stuff and keep working all summer long. So I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Big shout out to everyone subscribed and everyone who liked the video. Uh, really helps us out and also a huge shout out to everyone who supports us on Patreon That has definitely been a huge help with buying all this stuff So it's just been awesome to have that. So thank you so much for your support but I think that's gonna be a wrap So I will see you guys in the next video